Bryce Wilson. Spot start for him. He's got the ball tonight in game one. Yeah, you see his last five starts, uh, mixed bag. Uh, you see those walks, eight walks, 15 Ks were good. And strike three came back to get him at 93 miles an hour. So a nice comeback, good start, one up, one down. That yeah, good fastball's tailing up. I think Marcus thought it was going to be a little bit higher than it was, and it stayed its plane. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased a high fastball, and Bichette goes down on strikes. That's his 41st of the year. Two up, two down for Bryce Wilson. Well, you couldn't ask him to get to a better start. Got the fastball at the top of the zone to get Simeon looking, and then climb the ladder on Bichette. Strike three called. He struck out the side to start the game. Now, the last time Robbie Ray faced Atlanta, he had a great fastball working. We mentioned he threw 68% fastballs against the Braves, and he didn't give up a run. First pitch swing, a base hit by Acuna at 96 miles an hour. One way not to strike out against Robbie Ray is don't let him get to two strikes. See if he has the green light 3 0. Oh. That one uh, might have grazed him on the way by. Freeman's aboard. One two fastball down the middle for strike three called and a big first out here for Robbie Ray pitch is golfed into left field a base here here comes Acuna round third Ozzy Albies with a two strike hit puts Atlanta in front and Ray can't believe he got the barrel to that ball he drove it right past Biggio and Bichette and the leadoff man comes home for a first inning Atlanta lead they finally see Ozzy get going from the right side. To me, the pitcher did a chip. He laid off that 95 up. So you see there he gets a slider. 3 2. And the fastball's popped up. Again, very shallow right center field. Again, the same trio of fielders. This time, Teoscar Hernandez will make the catch. And the Braves make Ray work very hard. They get one run off him. Ronald Acuna Jr. leads off the third. He has singled and scored tonight. And Ray brings it. Swing and a rocket rope toward left center field. That ball is gone. A line drive home run for Acuna. You talk about hitting a ball under radar. That's exactly what Acuna did there. If it didn't go over the wall, Jeff, it might have gone through the wall. That was an absolute rocket. That was the whole thing. You saw Ronald running as hard as he was out of the box, Chip. He didn't think it was going to be high enough. Fastball a little bit up. Look how easy it is to the zone. Look at this. Yeah. Guy makes a great catch. Bryce Wilson mixing pitches very well tonight. The reward guys in the fifth. No runs so far. Well, he's in the fifth now with Biggio, Guriel, and McGuire coming up. One pitch, ground ball to second. Piece of cake for Ozzy Albies. Biggio out quickly, one out. Well, you want to know how to get another start up here? Do this. Yeah. <laughs> jammed him Dansby's got that and a low throw dug out by Freddie Freeman that was a good play and Reese McGuire is coming up and that ball is pulled to first easy flip to Wilson covering and that is a fast one two three fifth halfway through in Atlanta to the bottom of the fifth inning the Braves leading the Blue Jays two to nothing and Christian Apache the center fielder will lead it off for Atlanta struck out in his first at bat. And Pache on the ground. Long throw from Biggio. Skips it off the grass. And Guerrero with the stretch. Beautiful play at the corners by Toronto. Biggio had to get rid of it in a big hurry. And Pache could not outrun the baseball. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Robbie Ray made short work of him. Strikeout number seven for the Blue Jays pitcher. 1 2 on the way. Swing and a miss. He got him with a slider down. And Ray retires Acuna. Bryce Wilson's dealing. He just threw seven pitches in the fifth inning, and he is back to work in the sixth inning, and he has the luxury, Jeff, of starting with the opposing pitcher, Robbie Ray. Pitch is pulled toward the pitcher, and Bryce has that. Ray runs halfway down the line, turns left, and there's the first out in the sixth inning. Guerrero with a fly ball, well hit right field, and it's gone. An opposite field two run homer for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And just like that, this game is tied. Boy, he is something else. And when he starts going back in that direction, that's where he got so hot early in the season. Center field, right center. He hit this one a long way, and it was fitting that it went right over Acuna's head in right field. The pitch. He did just that. 
Bryce Wilson picks up his fifth strikeout of the game. Toronto ties it 2 2, bottom six. Robbie Ray's been good tonight. First inning was a little bumpy, gave up a run. Then Acuna hit a solo home run off him in the third, but Ray has only walked one. He has struck out eight. He's only allowed two runs back out there for the bottom of the sixth inning. Ray pulled a string last time. Let's see what he does here. Fly ball. That's well hit. That's going to make him comfortable. That ball is gone. Oh, Zona on an 0 2 pitch takes the selfie, and the Braves are back in front. If two out runs are gold, two strike hits have to be platinum. And boy, did Ozuna need that, Jeff. Just his third hit against a left-handed pitcher all year. And that's definitely not where you want your 0-2 pitch. Robbie was in a nice little zone there, too. That's going to be one he's going to want back. We go to the eighth inning. A.J. Minter on to pitch for the Braves. He's only given up one run in his last nine appearances. 1-1, one, one, swung on, hit to right field, hit pretty well. And over the head of a leaping Acuna Davis on his way into second base and the Blue Jays have the tying run in scoring position with nobody out here in the eighth. Nope he is swinging and he lines the ball to left and it's down for a base hit. Davis had to wait to see if it would get out to Azuna so he can't score. But the Blue Jays have the bases loaded with nobody out for Vladimir Guerrero Junior. First pitch swinging and a base hit into left field. Davis in to score. Simeon will stop at third because the ball was hit so hard. But Vladdy with an RBI single and the Blue Jays have tied it. And Vladdy not wasting any time. Gets a first pitch cutter. Gets the head out and pulls it sharply into left field. And Jonathan Davis just jogging in. One two and a weak ground ball to Freeman thought about home nobody's at first and everybody's safe and the Blue Jays take the lead. Well I tell you what defense is a lot more than airs it's about missed plays and the Braves have had two missed opportunities in this game that have allowed in this inning that have allowed the Blue Jays to score. 3 0 on the way and it's high ball four to force in another run 5 3 Blue Jays. Well, the Blue Jays have had some inning here. The two-run lead for the Jays, and Jordan Romano is into the game. Yeah, the bullpen has been terrific in this ball game. Trent Thornton, Tyler Chatwood, and now Jordan Romano. Four, five, six here. Ozzy Albies, Austin Riley, Dansby Swanson. Three, two. Slider there for strike three. Call. Boy, what a good pitch. And you can see the difference in velocity in that slide. It was 87 miles an hour. The last thing Ozzy Albies expected was a breaking ball. 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball to third. Biggio to second one. And that's all they'll get. The 2-1. Fastball in the air to left field. Teoscar Hernandez is there. And the Blue Jays will hang on to win it.